Good morning. We're out today on a group dig with the Loughborough Coin and Search Society. Um, we're in Shropshire. They've come to uh, some land local to us. So we're on the first field. Thanks for joining me. Let's see what we can find. Catch you later. Up you go. All right. It's in the spoil. It was a resounding 15. Oh, it's in my hand. Oh, I can see it. There it is. I haven't had one today. So, it's teeny weeny. So I'd say it's a pistol shot rather than a musket ball. All right, you can see where the uh, shoe was clipped off there I think. Anyway, there we go. Lovely pistol shot. Got my first pistol. Okay, this one's quite a good sounding 10-11 all the way around. Not too deep. We'll give it a go. Round about there. Let's see what we got. I'll just point you down a bit, make sure you can see what I'm doing. This um, field was previously in crop with potatoes, so it's been deep ploughed. It's been detected before as well, so it's got a lot going for it and a lot not going for it. It's in the clod, I didn't think it was very deep. Let's have a look. So yeah, sometimes the uh, method of... Um, Putting a potato crop in means that it's all um, ploughed quite deeply, which can sometimes churn up new stuff, or it can make it go deeper. But this is a shallow target. Let's see how shallow? No, it's not right there, so let's try and find it. I'm expecting lead or a bit of button. It's on, yeah, okay. It was definitely out. Oh, I can hear a a couple of geese going over, or swans. Oh, five Canadian geese. Right, less geese. What is it we found? Let's get my gloves off because I can't see. Let's just poke you down a bit. So it's somewhere in here. Still in there. Gone into the grass, unfortunately little poke about. I think it's back here. There it is. What have we got? <gasps> Do you know what? Oh my goodness. Oh, get me squirtle out. Hold on. No wonder it was being tricky. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a little look. I can't tell if it's a hammered or not, but if it is, it's not silver. But it's thin enough to be a coin, but it was only showing 11 on the knocks. It's an interesting artifact, whatever it is. Well, that one is going to need a lot more investigation because I can't see. I'm wondering if it's another counterfeit because it looks like a base metal that's got a silver wash on it again. I'm, I'm really good at finding these. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to have to get this home and check up. But you can see there, look, there's like a copper or base metal there and then some plating on top. Now, you know, it I don't think it's a piece of jewellery. There's no hole on it. We'll see. But it was definitely something. I'll put it in my pot for further investigation. Ta da! That's not bad. I'm quite happy with that. Eric has found this gorgeous. You can see the hallmark. Silver spoon. G. 
It's a lion, and then I can't read the rest. But how oh, little ditty it. that would have been. A plastic spade. Maybe it was in a field of Yuri Geller. So it <laughs> looks like it's been done, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, he, he's mangled it, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure. Okay, we had an 11. And it's in this clod here. Oh, I think I can see something with a white edge now. Yeah, looks like another bit of lead. That looks old though, so it's a good sign. Um, we'll carry on. There should be stuff on this field. There's been a lot of activity. If I twist you around quickly. You can see up there, that's a fort. Behind me is a fortified manor house, which was a castle. It's behind those trees, so that's a bit hidden for you now. And then there's more hillsides up there, but that was also a Roman camp. Um, obviously, it started off as like a, an Iron Age fort. The Romans took it over. A bit down the road, down there, there's um, a villa. Um, and they did apparently come down into this field at one point in history, um, an army, to capture this tiny little fortified manor house um, castle type thing. And there's a church behind there as well. Um, so they uh, gave up, they, they surrendered straight away. So there wasn't a huge battle or anything, but there should be something in this field. Unfortunately, it has been night hawked to death, apparently, and it's been detected on before. And it's been medieval and hammered and all sorts found on here that have been declared. Um, it'd be nice if we could get something up today um, as well, just to add to that, um, add to the history of this bit of the land and uh, what went on centuries ago. So let's crack on and... Uh, See if I can uh, find a bit more history than pieces of lead. Fingers crossed, eh? Well, that's definitely a Commonwealth. Yeah. yeah. And I'm fairly sure it might be a half penny. Okay. okay. Uh, if there was a Commonwealth half penny, I could be wrong because I've made myself completely foolish. <laughs> the first one I read was that. Um, that there. is definitely. What's that one? Um, it's got the. Um, Curly hair. It's by the. By the car. What, an Edward? Edward. An Edward, yeah, and that might be, um, what, 1200? And I reckon it's right here, that's another Commonwealth. Okay. Yeah. Which would just about fit around these parts. But they are small, aren't they? So you can see oh, that. Oh, you're not a big strong man. We're losing the light as well, aren't we? <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah, I wouldn't have found them with if I did not had a pinpointer. I didn't think, not that little one there. That one was a, took me ages to find. Wonderful stuff. Yeah. Well, well worth done, it, you. So Look what Simon's just found. A lovely 1922 florin. And that's uh, George the... Well, it looks like it should be George V, wasn't it? 1922. I can't read. It should be, I think. Yeah, George V. 1922. Oh, lovely. Lucky boys found silver. This was a uh, 15. I've just found it. I've got it out of here. And I think I've got one of my little favourites. One of my little favourites. Oh, has it got a pin though? Let me just turn this off. It's making too much noise now. Oh, sun comes out just as I find something. That's nice. No, no middle bit. Oh, that's a shame. Nothing in there. No. But that's really nice. I can see a little bit of... I thought I could see pattern then, but it's probably the imprint of my glove on it. <laughs> That's nice, tiny weenie. Look at it. It's the size of my thumbnail. Isn't that cute? It's an accessory. I'll have it glued on. <laughs> I'm happy with that. You can see where the pin used to go through from there to there. Teeny weenie. In the sunshine, Julie. Little buckle. Ta-da! And that came in at a very, very loud and clear 
15 on the knock. So loud and clear, I thought it was going to be a lump of iron, but I dug it anyway. Yay. Well done, Julie. <laughs> I love it when the sun comes out like that. And now it's gone in again. As soon as I turn the camera around, it's gone back in. Oh no, it's still there. So this will go in my, my new um, Crawford's pod. Heinz pod. I'm going to put all like buckly things in this because it's um, loose and then any coins I'll put in my other pod because I like my coins with a bit of foam on them so that will go in there pride pride of place in there Ta -da. you've got to decorate these things Ta -da. <laughs> double decorated <laughs> oh look it's gorgeous now let's carry on it's not even cold I don't even need my gloves Let's get you over the hole a bit better, eh? Would end up going into a little rocky patch where I can't really get the hand digger in very well. Let's loosen her up all the way around and see what happens. May have disturbed it now. Deep, whatever it is, is deep. Deeper. Oh, this doesn't bode well when it gets deeper and deeper. No, oh, yeah, that's not true, Julie. Sometimes it's good news. Oh. Except I think I just found the culprit. It's a big old folded up piece of lead. Any more down there? No. So that's why it's jumping in the end. It was jumping from um, 18 to 22. So obviously once I moved it around a bit, the signal got higher. But it's old lead. It's quite white and uh, snipped off. Could be Roman. You just don't know. Let's move on. In the root. Oh, honestly. <laughs> Another big whacking great lump of lead. I said it was a similar signal to the last one, so that'll be why. They were busy. It's got a bit of shape to it. Oh, they're all gathering round over there now. Someone's found something. We'll have to uh, go and check them out. Um, a few minutes ago, I was chatting to a couple of guys, Jamie and uh, his mate. I think it was Gary, I'm not sure. Um, and reset one of their machines for them because it was uh, set on 50 tones and it was a bit too busy for him so I've put it down to five tones they've gone over there and they found something which is fantastic um, we'll catch up with them later and uh, see what it is but they're shouting and there's people gathering so that is marvellous news I love it I love it stuff comes out of the ground makes people happy and we're just getting the history out of the ground, which is lovely. Stop it getting damaged by the plough all the time. Right, let's fill this baby in. And uh, we'll catch up with uh, Jamie and co. A bit later on. If I can turn this off. <laughs> Not that, no. Oh, something tiny down here. Oh, where are you? What on earth is that? It's not a button. Um, give it a little squirt. A tiny round coin of some sort, I think. Oh, where's my squirt all gone? Yeah. Gosh, I can't tell. Maybe a token of some sort in its day. Fair enough. I'm not going to get much off that, am I? There are a lot of finds coming up on the field, so that's brilliant. Um, and I've found a couple of little interesting things. Simon's had a silver florin, which isn't very old, obviously, but it's still a nice 
nice big uh, silver coin. Um, and it's been about, I think, oh, excuse me, eat my own hair here. It's been about 10 hammers, I think, and some other little bits come up. Um, I'll try it. I'll try and get some images of them all, but this isn't like a regular dig that I do. So I, um, it's like a closed club, but they've just had an open day today, so we could come along. And they've visited our county, which is even more bizarre, which is good. Um, so I can't actually go on to their um, Facebook page because uh, I'm not a member of their group because they have proper meetings, you know, monthly meetings in a hall. And obviously I don't live in Leicestershire, so uh, I wouldn't be able to go to the monthly meetings really. So um, I'll, I'll try, try somehow to get some of the images of the, the coins that have come up. Anyway, enough guessing, let's get digging. <sighs> Right back over here again. Where are you? You probably can't even see what I'm doing now behind all this clod. It's over here somewhere. I'm trying to use my eyes first. Is it that? Yeah. There we go. Modern day. Well, I say modern. Probably this century. <laughs> Maybe the end of last century, but it's nothing but a gun oh, God, I'm yeah. oh, you I know I did. <laughs> Gosh, makes it easier, doesn't it, when you can differentiate the sounds? Let me get rid of that. Oh, do you know what it is yet? Um, this is the first. Oh no! Beauty. Fifteen watt. Sixty something, I think. Oh, 1560, that is in incredible nick, isn't it? She's a bit pasty, but yeah. <laughs> where's the rose? I can't see. But yeah, that. Oh, well yeah, done. It's cool, isn't it? Oh, let's have a picture of you with her. <laughs> hey, well done, Jamie. That's brilliant. Not just here, was it? Yeah, in that hole. So oh, I'm about to go around it again. I would. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well done. No, thank you very much. Pleasure. I just missed it. Give it a go. It's a bit grunty around the edges, so I'm not holding out my hopes really, but it was a good clear signal, which could mean iron. Maybe I should just take the whole side wall out, it'll be easier. It's so stony. I might by the edge of the field as well, so it could be trash. Oh, crikey. Let's try it now. Let's see if I can take any of this out. I don't know if it's any of that. Nothing. Still buzzing down there. Don't know if you can see. I'll oh, put you in the hole a bit better. Still deeper. I think so. lovely soil but I can't find anything in it <laughs> I'm going to blame the soil still in here it's getting deeper I do also think my pinpoint needs a new battery so it could be that now something's showing that it's out. Right, I've got it in my hand. Where is it? Ooh, solid. I think it's a button. I think it's a big button. Let's go over here. 
where I can see it better. Get some of the crud off the back. Maybe I should just leave that because I can't seem to get it to shift. Oh, there we go. It's coming off now. Let's see if there's a shank there. I don't think there is. There we go. I see. It's the hollow part of a button. I think. A shell of. Ooh, scooping out now. Um, yeah. Um. Right. Let's um, see if I can just clean her up a little bit on the trousers. Mm. Don't need more than that. I'll, um, I can definitely see a design on it, but till I get home, I can't tell what it is. It, it, it almost looks like a castle, or I don't know. I imagine it was some kind of a livery button in its day, or something entirely different. But the uh, patina is going to come off if I rub it any further in the field. Um, we'll have a better look at home. If it's anything else interesting, I'll let you know. But, you know, it wasn't a tin can, so I'm grateful for small mercies. <laughs> what the heck? Is that a big bullet? What is it? Cat's eye. Oh, I love a cat's eye. <laughs> oh, my word. Best signal I've had all day. Really. <laughs> Copper, you see? He told you it was copper. <laughs> Cat's eye out the middle of the A49. Yeah, that means something's come through the hedge. There is a gap in the hedge over there, isn't there? Let's have a look. What was oh, your a... name? Julian. Julian. What's Julian found today? So, we've got a slightly washed out, but you can still make out George the Third. Oh, yeah. And, uh, have a little looky. Yeah, of course. You can. Follow the hedge down then, love. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, you can see the shielding on, on the back. back. Just Gosh, make out the head eyes. there. That's it, facing that way. Yeah, got him. Beautiful. Still, rest of the afternoon to go. Yeah, and you went on to the other field, but... Oh, we you haven't. haven't. No, yet, everyone's coming back. coming back. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, oh, well done. Signal's still here, big field, so... Yeah. Carry on. Thank you very Thank much, you very Julian. Bye-bye. Have you had anything? Oh, you lunch, OK. Oh, <laughs> 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 you okay. There's a strap end or something. Uh, yeah, we... Um, I thought there was. Yeah. Um, what age? Oh, how fantastic! Um, depends. Oh, sorry. Need to rinse. Yeah, we're going to clean. Definitely one of them, though, isn't it? It's definitely a strap. Yeah, there's not yeah, many of them up all the way. It's got the pins on the back, so we rinse yeah. two parts. Right. Which Sam would do the side yeah, of the leather. Hi, thanks for joining me. Uh, we found some good little bits and bobs. Uh, it's getting late now I've probably got about another mm, half an hour 45 minutes of um, daylight and uh, the car's back over the other end of that field so I better get moving thanks for joining me see you next time um, do I tell you now no I don't I'll wait till the next video catch you later bye